losses Karen, and let failed me, at his business. I want to get to some other topics as well. Sure. Uh, I want, let, let's listen to some audio from this Hillary Clinton fundraiser back in February, released by the Washington Free Beacon, a, a conservative website. She was at the time running in this heated primary with Bernie Sanders. Here is a small clip of what she said. There's a, just a deep desire to believe that, you know, we can uh, have free college, free health care. It's a false promise. But I don't think you tell idealistic people, particularly young people, that they bought into a false promise. <laughs> His ideas are indefensible. Yeah. She then did go on in the full off to talk about how we can't write off these people that have these hopes and we have to embrace them and embrace their idealism. Mm -hmm. She has now embraced part of Bernie Sanders' platform to push for free college tuition for some specific Debt free first, college. For, for, right, for every student from a family making $85,000 a year to be able to go to an in-state uh, public school or university. Community um, college. Correct. So, mm -hmm. so my question is she's embraced part of now what she then called a false promise. Well, How do you square the two? I think that there's, that's a little bit of a mischaracterization, uh, but here's what I would say. If you listen to all of what she said, I mean, I remember that part in the campaign very well. You had donors and people, supporters, who were very frustrated with what was going on. And Hillary, in that instance, was really telling a room of her supporters, look, this is what these young people, they're frustrated, they're disappointed, they're right to be feeling what they're feeling, and you have to be patient with them, and you and we have to understand why they are concerned about the issues they're concerned about. They are supporting Bernie Sanders, and she would say this publicly, frankly. I mean, she was very public about the idea that she believed that some of the things that he promised, she just did not believe were doable. I mean, when we had this long conversation throughout the primary, for example, about the Affordable Care Act, I find it very interesting.